All right, quick little video about fundamental identities. And just a reminder, you can pause the video at any time. So I'm going to quickly go through the warm up. Uh, these are all from your trig chart. Uh, the sine of 60, of course, is root uh, 3 over 2. The tangent of 45 is 1. The cotan of 60 is the same as the tangent of 30. That's root 3 over 3. At 90 degrees, the reciprocal of x, secant is reciprocal of x, the x coordinate 0, 1 over 0 would be undefined. Uh, negative 150, if you think of that, that's the same as 210. So that's a 30 degree angle. Um, I know the tangent of 30 is root 3 over 3, so the cotan of 30 must be root 3. And 210 is in the third quadrant, so it's positive, so that's a little bit tricky. And then finally, cosine of pi over 6 is the same as the cosine of 30 degrees, so that's also root 3 over 2 in the first quadrant. So those, <coughs> pretty quick warm-up there to help you out. All right, so we have these identities, and a lot of these you've kind of heard of before, and I'm going to go out of order. I'm going to look at the reciprocal identities. Um, basically, th these identities just state the relationship among the functions. For instance, the cosecant, cosecant theta equals 1 over sine of theta. And for what it's worth, sine theta would also be 1 over cosecant of theta. You could write that two different ways. Uh, the secant of theta is the reciprocal of cosine. So we would write secant theta equals 1 over cosine. And finally, the cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Cotangent, you could rewrite it as 1 over tangent. So it's just a way to rewrite uh, the functions, and you can write them in any order, right? You could, you could also write tangent equals 1 over cotan. Um, so reciproc reciprocals work both ways. The ratio identities, there's two of them. And I think we talked about this. Remember, tangent is y over x. Well, what is y? y is sine, x is cosine, so tangent would be just sine divided by cosine. So it's tan theta equals sine theta over cosine theta, and cotan, of course, would just be cosine theta divided by sine theta. All right. Of course, you're going to see in a minute how we use these. For now, just kind of copy down these uh, identities. All right. Arguably the most, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to stop there. We'll do the Pythagorean theory, uh, sorry, Pythagorean identities for a minute. Let's look at an example, how we would use this. So example one says, what's sine theta times cotangent? As a rule of thumb, sines and cosines we, we kind of leave alone, and then we try to rewrite the other functions. And by that I mean cotangent is a ratio identity. Right, you could see up above, cotangent can be written as cosine divided by sine. So I'll just do a substitution there. And notice what happens, right? Uh, it's a multiplication, so I can just cancel the sine with the sine. And here I'm left with cosine theta. So all we're doing is we're kind of using some of these properties um, to simplify these. So that... That just gives you a quick example of how we kind of use these, all right? Uh, the most important identities are called the Pythagorean identities. Um, so the first Pythagorean identity is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1, okay? I'm going to give you a real quick derivation of this. I just I feel like I'm obligated to do it. If you keep in mind that this is all based on a circle with a radius of 1, this will make a lot of sense. So here's uh, just the first quadrant of the unit circle. And if you think about it, the coordinates here, the x-coordinate is just the cosine and the y-coordinate is just the sine. But what does that give you? That gives you two sides to your triangle. Right, it gives you two side lengths. And we know from the Pythagorean theorem that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Right, If we kind of think of these as a, b, and c, 
That's what the Pythagorean theorem says. So sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. <coughs> so that was just a quick geometric proof of the Pythagorean identities. Um, I'll tell you what, I think we'll stop this video here and we'll pick it up with